Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for ID People. I'm here at Wise Media's 6th EMEA Summit in Abu Dhabi, and I'm joined by Eunice Debrin, who is from the Pan-African Postal Service, uh, Postal Union. Thank you for joining me. Thank um, you. Start by telling me what the latest developments are in the African Postal Services. It's an exciting time for postal services, lots of changes going on. What's happening in, um, in, in Africa in the postal services? Uh, what is happening in Africa in postal services is uh, a part of the, the general happening in Africa now. Africa now is in a full transformation. Mm. Full transformation, uh, it is now a continent where the growth is the highest since the last three years. And uh, postal services are uh, committed to accompany this, uh, this tendency. Mm -hmm. As far as uh, uh, through Pan-African Postal Union, the, the organization I'm leading, who is, which is a, a specialized agency of African Union, mm -hmm. We have uh, objectives to facilitate integration of the continent, facilitate the circulation of uh, information, goods, bridging digital, digital divides, uh, increasing uh, financial inclusion, especially for uh, on benefit of poor population of rural area mm. and uh, trying to build a uh, harmonized and harmonized legal framework to facilitate all of, of this. So uh, this is, uh, help, help, we will help the first, the postal operators, of course, mm. for profit, profitability but uh, helping our governments to meet uh, the goal of yeah. uh, the millennium development that means uh, fighting against poverty in the, con the, the, the seemingly uh, endemic poverty in, yeah. the, in the continent. Yeah. Uh, so this is our uh, sure. objectives. objectives now. It's, it's definitely um, an exciting time for Africa. I think the next 10 years will be phenomenal in terms of change and you talk about economic growth but there's also um, population growth there needs to be I think with that growth there needs to be a point of, of trust in the countries for distribution of, um, of welfare distribution of, of, um, of funds banking those kind of things are the post offices the organizations that have the infrastructure to do that yes uh, the postal services are now providing one-stop shop uh, products uh, among the three-dimensional offer of postal services. That means physical, financial, and uh, electronic. Okay. And this offer, uh, thanks to the the largest network of. Uh, Postal services in Africa. It is the most large phys physical uh, network mm. in Africa with uh, about uh, 70,000 uh, contact points. Right. And uh, if you add our partners, some <coughs> providers, we can go up to more than 1,000, uh, more than 100,000. Uh, Thousand points of contact, points of contact. and uh, it is fully integrated in the worldwide network, right. postal worldwide network, who is more than uh, six hundred and sixty thousand yeah. interconnected yeah. post offices, where you can offer to population the in intermediation financial services yeah. for those who are excluded from uh, classic banking. Right. We can help for savings, collecting the small savings. 
uh, we can help as we are uh, trusted, mm. historically trusted. Yeah. And now we are uh, another, we have another uh, important argument, which is uh, the identity certification. Right. So combining this, we can co connect people from rural area with the urban area, mm. from African countries between themselves and between Africa and the rest of the world by sending or receiving money. Yeah. As you know, the uh, immigrant, Africa has many diaspora, a huge diaspora who used to send money back to home yeah. for entertainment of family, mm. to, for some investments. And this is usually uh, costing a lot uh, through classic uh, banks channels. Yeah. So Postal is offering uh, a cheaper yeah. service more so that they can, they can send more for beneficiary. Yeah. And uh, not only it is uh, cheaper, but it is in best quality because yeah. we are using a secure uh, UPU uh, system. Right. IFS is an yeah. international financial system which is fully secured, mm -hmm. best quality and affordable. You can get it anywhere in a rural area where there is a postal post yeah. postal service, you can have it. Okay. And this is combined by uh, promotion of e commerce. Yeah. Because people are saying that, uh, think, people think that when internet is uh, improving, mm. the postal service is losing yeah. this, uh, this part of market. Yeah. This has been said uh, when, when, when telegraph, telegraph okay. technology yeah. has been created. <coughs> yeah. When internet comes now, it is more than mobile, but the, the specificity of postal services are to be to have adaptation mm. to the technology yeah. as far as technology is supposed to be neutral. Yeah. Neutral to help people do best where yeah. they have yeah. they, yeah. they're supposed to, yeah. to, to do. But then uh, now uh, for sure classic mail is uh, decreasing but uh, now we, have, we observe that there is a growth concerning parcels parcel service right and this is yeah. uh, because of uh, development of e-commerce uh, e e e-commerce yeah internet you can order yeah. order yeah. to by yeah. internet but uh, right now internet cannot carry no. the, the, <laughs> the goods the, the goods so we are providing the logistic yeah the, the chain supply yeah we have it so this is a good opportunity yeah. to so develop business for postal yeah. operators and help them to, he to help, to help the 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 bus business persons yeah. to facilitate their uh, yeah. commerce. Yeah. And it seems that a good uh, logistics, good infrastructure, good banking are keys to bringing more investment in, which will just encourage and improve that growth that is happening in, in the, Africa. So the, the exciting problem of times. investment. <coughs> the, uh, I just talked about talk to you about uh, the opportunities, mm. but now the, the big challenge is for Africa, as the, there is many things to do, and in priority, yeah. we have uh, basic infrastructure. That means roads for the, the transport, yeah. telecommunication, water, education, yeah. health. But uh, there is lack of resources yeah. uh, right now compared to the need yeah. of development. And as far as we need, uh, our countries need to uh, develop integral yeah. approach, the yeah. holistic approach. Sometimes the postal services uh, seems to be the forgotten part. Yeah. But uh, our, uh, my strategy in Pan-African Postal Union in Papu is to synthesize uh, stakeholders, government, of the role of postal services, mm. to, the role to be played in the de socio-economic development of the country. Yeah. So it is a basic infrastructure 
which can help yeah. to accelerate the development. Yeah. So uh, most of them are now uh, more and more taking more attention yeah. to postal services, including the postal project in the national development plan. Even uh, when we work with uh, African <laughs> Union, yeah. the development, uh, the Department of Infrastructure and the Department of Economic Development of AU are working closely with us so that we, ha we are getting yeah. more and more space in the global strategy yeah. of our government mm. yeah. and that may be help. And uh, the if, if not getting yeah. direct mm. money from government, yeah. government can, uh, can sponsor mm. a postal project. Yeah. Uh, and attract more investment and attract elsewhere. more investment for yeah. that. Yeah, because it's the basic infrastructure. Yes. Government, postal service, the others can follow from yeah. it. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for stopping by to chat. Uh, I enjoyed your presentation and hope we can speak again soon, okay, perhaps in Africa next time. Thank you very Thank much. You.